Okay, I am also testing out <clears throat> the Me Journey capability, V6 capability for prompt coherence. So <clears throat> here is my prompt. Normally, when I start putting a lot of elements and prompt, that's <laughs> when Me Journey get start get confused and not presenting what exactly I needed. So in this case, I did specifically one glasses and on the stone top, one bottle, champagne bottle on the side, and cheese and fruit board with a fixed cut open blackberry and almonds, everything set on the green marble countertop in the modern looking kitchen and the one bar. Sour uh, kept the style as pretty low because that's one of the instructions we usually gave when you want the prompt coherent a little bit better and the realism a little bit better so here we go i already did this with a uh, no um, permutation prompt um, it did uh, follow my text prompt pretty well it did give me figs and some blackberry and almond we do have some sort of a marble situation but the figs are looking pretty good to be honest see but i just want to see more settings <laughs> like the kitchen and the one bar looking environment start looking Good. Oh, very nice. Nice. Oh my gosh. Did it give me a one bar though? Mostly kitchen, I feel like. <clears throat> Let's see. This is supposed to be a one bar. It's looking pretty nice. Okay. Let's upscale some of these. This is supposed to be a kitchen. Oh, interesting. And it gave me exactly what I was asking for, the elements, and didn't give me anything else, which is good. There's no crackers, there's no no nothing else. It's just upscale bunch. Give me champagne. Oh my gosh. I really wanted to upscale all of those so I can see some of the details because it's harder to see uh, with small images like this for the details. So I wanted to upscale all of them and then further upscale from there but i love the fact it gave me a green marble so now we know it, even though me journey didn't say oh we have to relearn prompting v6 which i honestly think it's just so much easier to prompt because the prompt coherence like 100 times better than the v5 and it actually gave me exactly what i wanted i think if you have a very specific vision with the composition you can even get into like how you want the layout to be like and uh, what kind of a shot wide angle shot zooming shot it's overview or it's head on or it's low angle with specific lenses or just very detailed descriptions because now supposedly <clears throat> v6 also takes longer text prompt uh, interpreter interpreting that better than the capability of v5 so that's what i would recommend just get really uh, detailed description very specific about what exactly you are asking for me journey and i think that will directly impact the image quality in my opinion, not necessarily railer everything. I think it's just easier to prompt now in Me Journey, which has been a lot of the people's issues with Me Journey before this update. I'm gonna do upscale subtle because if you do creative, it's gonna uh, make the this image very different, which I'm quite okay with how it turned out. So I'm just gonna do a subtle. Oh, I ran out of hours again. Damn it, I need to buy more hours, I think. Me journey build this month is pretty. Something weird about this image in the back. So next, I'm gonna put this into the image enhancer with all the text prompt so it can enhance all the fruits for me. Okay, some of my upscaled image already finished. I did a, a bunch of them so I can compare the output results. So far, <laughs> everything looks pretty good. For some people, they may just stop here because they think this is good enough. But I really want to get even more authentic or quote unquote authentic um, for an AI generated image. I wanted to put the, some of these selection into 
my image enhancer with a text prompt. So I'm hoping bring even more details and realism into some of the fruits and the textures for uh, the glass or the marbles. So that's what I'm going to do next. Okay, I went ahead and uploaded all my um, Journey V6 images. I've scaled to 2024, 2024 square uh, into the image enhancer. I just want to test it out how necessary to do this workflow. Now, Mi Journey V6 is quite impressive by itself. Um, the results are pretty interesting. I will say it really depends on what your goal is. Currently, V6, uh, the large, <laughs> largest image size is limited by 2024 or 2040. So if you need a larger than that, say like a 4069 by 4069, then you will need to use image enhancer to upscale it. But if you're okay with that size, for some use case, you may just want it to stop there because sometimes it really depends on the image. So this is before. As you can see, it's pretty good straight up from me journey so i did run through the image enhancer and you can see it did add some details and the definition there depends on your personal preferences and what kind of a, a photography style or image style you like you may think the me journey version looks better so this is like the outcome it, if you really zoom in to see a specific elements and you can see it definitely gives a lot more detail if you are looking for prints or something just needs a very high definition and i suggest to still run through the image enhancer but keep the create creativity and uh, the dhl really an hdr where sometimes you even want it to do zero and creative creativity one or two uh, and HDR is keep it really low, the one or two as well. Play around with the lower setting parameters and depends on the image itself. It may give a little bit different feel to it. For instance, some of the later image I did, I realized, oh, yeah, I like added details and may not necessarily better. Sometimes the almond, if you look it at like a weird thing texture on almonds make it look less almond so that's why i know i need to like either lower my parameters or maybe i'll just go with the me journey image but if you're really looking for high definition and you can see on the marbles and on the fruits and on the cheese it does add great details once you start zooming again so it really depends on what's your goal here if it's a quick social media shots you may not need, even need this image enhancement but if it's a print or you need to put it on a bigger screen and the image enhancer definitely gives you more realism and details to a certain degree and also for i'll say for me journey v6 right now there are <clears throat> limitation you can't use a pen feature you can't use ink painting yet some of you may want to use some of your older v5 images and then the v5 images doesn't have the realism compared to v6 and then that's when you also need to put it into your image enhancer like this one to add a great details for your v5 images but yeah i'm sure me journey is going to add more features for the v6 but again that right now that's the comparison depends on your preferences and what's the usage of the images like i mentioned image enhancer does add great details to your image if you zoom in you can see that it's pretty obvious but uh, if it does overall also change the look of your image a, a bit change the color tone a little so that's the trade-off right here. All right, also today we want to test it out with Mi Journey V6 capabilities of uh, photorealism. And uh, we have already generated a bunch of images the first day I got access for this. So you can see now, this is already upscaled inter uh, internally with Mi Journey and the style, the raw with V6. 
you can see the details where the papaya is finally looking like a papaya and the grip grips are actually quite good with the finish looks very real to me and the cheese are not bad and the only thing not great here is the strawberry it look weird if you zoom in so i went ahead actually downloaded this image and put it into the image enhancer i just want to see if it'll give even more realism to this already pretty real image from mid journey so here are some results now we can see a side by side this is inside of the magnificent ai image enhancer i use off the bat pretty good and we can see the strawberry let's see the little details of the strawberry here before let's check out the strawberry here and after okay that is really good did get the strawberry the realism that i was looking for right let's even zoom in and you see how sharp stuff is now now let's check out some of the other things here maybe with the grips is already pretty good with me journey but it just added more details and let's you can see the cheese wow honestly <laughs> this is really good if you are looking for a really high quality images with great details this is the new workflow i will be adopting which is me journey's v6 upscaled to 2048 into magnificent ai and let's see our papaya honestly if anything i feel like the papaya is like way more details than i even needed but this is honestly pretty good let's check out the glass okay so i just want to zoom in so you can see uh, i added some of these like little bubbles for wine let's check out this image see this me journey image is already pretty decent with the wine and the glass it's almost a little bit too much for the wine but because it gives such great little details to the fruits and the cheese honestly the cheese is really look at that it's quite a impressive okay the only thing i will say before you use image enhancer make sure you do a little bit of selection of your me journey images if it has like a weird thing inside already then it's probably not gonna be great with enhancing unless you add a very specific details uh, text prompt so the image enhancer knows what is that weird thing is so it might enhance a little bit better but i will say rule of thumb the input image needs to be very the details needs to be roughly looking like what you want for the final image before you put it into the <laughs> image enhancer because otherwise it will just enhance the stuff weirdly for example the i assume this is supposed to be a cheese knife so it doesn't turn that magically to a cheese knife unless this is already a cheese knife uh, kind of shape for the image enhancer to work properly so definitely implementing more this workflow with me journey v6 images and the image enhancer to get even more realism for the me journey images finally you can put a text prompt here but my normally my setting i keep my setting for all of these me journey v6 images to pretty low i will do maybe creativity 2 hdr 1 and i'll do a higher resemblance or 6 uh, 7 8 or even 9 but i think resemble doesn't matter as much for a still life images like this but i will keep my setting low for the creativity and hdr because it will start adding too much details and too much little textures that we may not necessarily want for my images but uh, yeah so here you have it me journey v6 image as input um, for an image enhancer like i the result is really awesome and you'll have to test it out yourself